dragging it up to Wilmington. It got caught in the storm. She went down to the bottom, okay? What's left of her kind of looks like this, all right? There's not a lot left to her, all right? She was fully intact until the mid-80s where for some reason the Coast Guard and other government agencies decided that it was a hazard to navigation and they blew it to pieces. And what you got left of it today, you got a little piece of stern with the propeller still intact, all right? You got the propeller shaft going to the engine, the engine itself, the two boilers, and a little bit of the bow, okay? Other than that, the wreck looks like that laying on the bottom of the ocean, okay? Very little relief other than the engine and boilers and the two ends, okay? It is 190 feet from one end to the other. It is approximately 30 feet wide at its widest point, right? 30 to 40 feet at its widest point. I cannot tell you what visibility is going to be like, but since the water is on the cool side, well, visibility will be a little better than average, all right? When we get on site, myself, Brittany, or Sarah, one of the three of us, we're start doing rock, paper, scissors and find out who the loser is, that's to go ahead and tie in the boat, all right? We're going to tie a chain directly to the propeller shaft, all right? And then the propeller, and then that chain, that rope is tied to the boat. It kind of looks like this, and we were actually on the safari. We are on the safari. The rope goes from the bow down to the wreck. Same story. You just don't have the beautiful safari. Okay. Once we're tied in, we'll run a wreck reel, a thin white line, visual reference from the tie-in point to the bow of the wreck. All right. Visual reference. Swim along. Do not pull yourself on my wreck reel, or Brittany's wreck reel, or Sarah's wreck reel, whoever's wreck reel. Please do not pull on it. Just swim along and look at it. Like I said, at the widest point, this wreck may be 40 feet. All right? If you're going north to south, the structure under you, you are on the wreck and will stay on the wreck. If you start going east and west, you'll start seeing sand and miles and miles and miles and miles of it. If you're going to the east, you're going to wind up in Bermuda. If you're going to the west, you might actually hit Little Beach. Okay. So please make sure you're on structure when you're on this wreck. If you have any doubts, just keep that white string in sight. All right? The propeller shaft itself, like I said, is your reference to the stern. Okay? The depth of this wreck is right around 50 feet. All right? We're on both sides, so you might actually only get about 40 seconds or so. All right? The bottom time for this wreck, for my air breathers, is a 30 down followed by a 30 surface, okay, and then splash again. My night drop divers, you can split that up however you want. One very long, one short, two short, whatever. Boat's leaving in approximately two hours once we start splashing people. Don't make us go look for you, please. We do have the racers on the boat and the, pre and the documents are all written in pencil. dive is complete. Two things to remember. One, at around a thousand PSI, we're using the rule of thirds, you should start looking for the tie-in point to make your way back up to this boat. We have a 500 pound rule on this boat. If you get my deck with less than 500 pounds, you're going to be sunning on the bow for the rest of the day. Okay? 500 pound minimum when you touch the foot back on my deck. Okay? So again, use the rule of thirds, make your way back to the tie-in point so that you got plenty of air to make your ascent and make your safety stop, all right? Follow the white string or the shaft, like I said, back to the tie-in point. Get your hand on that anchor line. Deflate your BCD, please. Deflate your BCD, all right? Because if you don't, when you get about 20 feet, the next thing you know, you're on the surface, all right? Please, please, please make sure you deflate your BCD and utilize that rope to pull yourself up to our downline. We will have one single downline on the port side of the boat. All right? So when you come up, you get to the shackle, you let go of the main anchor line, you grab that downline, and you start pulling yourself towards the rear of the boat. All right? At that point, you should be looking to do your safety stop. If you're diving a computer, it'll flip off between 15 and 20 feet, depending on the algorithm. If you're not diving a computer, 
you get to 15 feet, stop, look at your watch, and do your three minute safety stop. Do not have a timing device. That is, oh God, 180 one one thousands or six Jeopardy themes, whatever is the easiest for you to remember. Make sure you do your three minute safety stop under my boat, okay? Once your safety stop is complete, pull yourself down to the corner of the boat, start swimming to the surface, hit your inflator. There will be a yellow line deployed out behind the boat, okay, our tagline. Swim out to the tagline, keep your basket regulator in place, all right? Unless you're with an instructor, the next thing you're gonna be doing is looking down in the water to take your fins off. Max heavy bear fins. Thank you. Go looking down in the water, take your fins off, put your fins over your wrist like this, okay? Then pull yourself up to the ladder. This is a fins off ladder, please. Alright, do not attempt to climb that ladder with fins on. Okay? Alright, now when you get to the ladder, depending on what our surface conditions are like. All right, this thing will beat you up. This is the most dangerous part of this whole operation is getting you back on my boat, okay? So, when you get to the ladder, one hand, two hand, look down, put your feet on that bottom rung, and then start scampering up the ladder. Myself or another crew member will be here to assist you when you get to the platform. When you get to the platform, turn around, press your cylinder on the gunnel, we'll help you out of it. It makes it a lot easier to come over that gunnel. All right, and then we set your gear on the deck, about your business, all right? But please, 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 make sure you get your mask and fit, yeah. your fins off before you make the ladder, all right? Now, uh, marine life on this wreck, she's covered in sea urchins, little bent cushion looking things, so watch what you lay your hands on. This is a steel hull vessel, all right? So there's a lot of jagged edges around here, so be careful what you grab for. Also, this wreck is inhabited by the ocean's most ugly fish with the worst attitude, and it's called the oyster toad fish. The ugly little thing. His head's about that wide, his mouth is about that wide, all right? His body's only about that long. He's got a little Fu Manchu mustache and a mouth full of teeth. If you get your hand anywhere near it, he will grab a finger. If you see something that looks like carpet that's looking at you, that's a toad fish, not Penny, all right? He will. Um, there's plenty of starfish. There's tons of starfish on this wreck. If you want to take starfish home, great. Don't get greedy because you'll forget it's in the trunk of your car next week. You'll have like a fish market. Alright? Don't get greedy. If you want a starfish, fine. There are some sand dollars on this wreck if you're lucky enough to find them. Relic hunters. You can still find ceramic shirt buttons on this wreck if you look close enough. Uh, most people find them. No real way to say where I found them on either end of this wreck, from one end to the other. I found them, I found them in the sand, I found them on the prop, I found them on the bow, they're everywhere. All right, so just look. It's white and round, it's a, it's a shark you can hang on to it. All right, also, there are sharks in these waters, believe it or not. All right, three things about a shark. Number one, if you are fortunate enough to see Mr. Grayback. First, if you are not comfortable being in the water with the shark, please indicate to your buddy, shark, knee, up, okay? And then slowly make your way back to the giant point. Slowly make your safe ascent. Slowly do your three minute stop. Safely make your way back to the tagline. Safely take your fins off, put them on your wrist. Safely come up to my ladder, get on my platform, get on my boat, and then freak out. But otherwise stay calm on the water. Second thing about a shark, um, uh, Better boss like Okay. The second thing about a shark. The second thing about a shark. Regardless what you've seen on Animal Planet, Discovery Channel, YouTube, History Channel, whatever, sharks do not like to be touched. Okay? Sharks only touch each other for one or two things, food or sex. So let's have none of that with the sharks this morning. And lastly, and probably the most important thing about a shark. You do not have to outswim the shark. You only have to outswim your buddy. So let's figure out who that is right now. Okay? <laughs> As Brittany said, from the time we start rolling, we got about 45 minutes to our dive site. You guys will probably be splashing in about an hour. All right? If you haven't already done so, make sure you've got your weight systems in place. 
Uh, the crew's gonna be looking around here to make sure everything's laid down, ready, ready to rock. All right, are there any questions? All right, ladies and gentlemen, depending on what the ocean is like, this is normally the wet side of the ride. So if you want to try and stay dry, move forward into the port side. Otherwise, you're not gearing, get across. <laughs>
hurt. Make sure to point that PC so they can float. Come on, it's not so thick. Oh. Mm. 